what happens when ski lifts go wrong? Well, for me, I was 13 years old, I fell far too hard, my legs split far too wide, and I thought to myself, I will never ski again. Now, there was no bodily damage actually done, but I definitely was scarred because I haven't skied ever since and I don't plan on it. But that's why this game is perfect for me because it involves all of the injuries and the beauty of skiing. What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome to When Ski Lifts Go Wrong, the latest indie joint that is a physics-based construction puzzler and it's really, really cool. It comes out on Steam today, it comes out on Switch today, so you can go grab it now. And I'm pretty pumped to share it with you because it's opened my eyes to a genre I didn't know I liked and that is the building puzzle genre. I haven't really had much experience with these kinds of titles, frankly, but they're a heck of a lot of fun. Not because I like building in real life, but because I'm super detail oriented and I want to get things right. And that's what you got to do here because you're actually trying to make sure the ski lift goes right so that your little peoples don't turn into smushy lemmings and splat all over the stage. But let's get into it. If you guys like what you see, definitely go check the game out. It's available now on Steam. I'll put a link in the description below and I'll put a link to the Nintendo Switch page if you'd prefer to get it on that hybrid platform. The campaign is where we want to go. This game was actually an early access. They added 20 more levels and a summer section. So we got a lot of good stuff to check out here. Big thanks to Curve Digital for sponsoring the video, but I do want to let you know that the guy over there emailed me and said, hey, check this game out. What do you think? I played it. I really liked it. And so I said, A, okay, let's go ahead with the partnership because I wouldn't want to promote it if it wasn't good. But I did have a lot of fun and I think it'll be a really cool fit on my Switcheroo and it's already good on Steam. So I've already done the tutorials. Let's jump into the Alps, which is the first mountain that we don't have assistance. Now, the thing you're trying to do here is make sure that your little peoples get to the end safely, as well as complete some bonus objectives like building safe structures, spending under $3,000, and collecting the medal. This is our ski lift rope. Now, we could just send it straight there, but of course, what kind of video game would that be? So we need to build our way towards safety. We've got this little mini mountain here, got these three dudes that are entrusting their lives and their skis to me so that I don't split their legs far too wide and scar them for life. Now we have some planks, wheels, and foundations. So we gotta build some structures up here, make sure we are under the spending limit and get our dudes over the rock, into the metal, and then finally, into the end goal portal. So we will start with some foundations. Got to build it up uh, nice from the start here. Actually, maybe we'll start on the rock and see what we can do uh, building a nice little big structure over yonder. I usually play things that are fast paced, that are chaotic, that have a lot of commotion to them. Uh, it's actually kind of nice to do something a little bit calmer and experience something that I'd say is more of a thinking man or a thinking woman's uh, type game. I really enjoy the change of pace and getting to utilize a different set of, uh, of gaming skills here. So it's all kind of about triangles um, and making sure that's not going to cut it. There we go. Making sure that you support these structures as you saw in our objectives. Not only do we have to get to the end, but we want to make sure we have safe structures. And there is a stress meter. So I guess it's, it's a pretty calm game, but it's not all that calm. We'll build up another structure before we test this one. I think it's pretty supported. I'm worried about this point, but we'll have to wait and see. A lot of this uh, is trial and error. We're going to need to build, um, I guess, like kind of a sideways structure over here using the logs, the ropes, the jumps, and the turbo jumps. It's pretty darn fun, so hopefully we'll get some levels to showcase that to you in a little bit. But let's, let's build this all up together. These guys are a little farther apart, so they're going to require um, connecting little planks and you can see we're approaching uh, actually our budget things are not cheap in the wild winter world here you got to keep everybody safe and that can be expensive but I think we may have just found a perfect fit and we're under budget and this looks pretty good I'm not sure if we're gonna get the metal that's my concerns. Let's run it through and see what our little ski boy does here. Is he going to clear the rock? Yes, he is. Green structures. Everything is supported. Nice and safe. Not like me. Not falling over. Not ripping your legs. Feeling pretty good and having a great time. Now, you can also control the little ski boys and ski girls. There are some where you have to send them through jumps, and that kind of surprised me. I thought it was going to all be point and click and construction building, but you actually get to mess around with the actual skiing uh, and snowmobiling 
as well. So you can see here um, our little replay. We are on the leaderboard. We picked up two of the medals, completing the level with the budget, uh, safe structures. But we did not collect all the medals. That's okay. I'm not going to obsess over that right now. We're going to move on to the next one. This time, spend under 550, collect the medal, and get the rider past the line. This is one we're actually going to have to use the little ski boy. So that's good. Now you get to see what that's all about. We got jumps galore. So where should we put the jump? This one seems like it's got to go right here if we want to build this right. I'm going to zoom in to get a better view. There's a nice ski lodge there. Probably some hot chocolate hiding in the windows. I really hope so. I could use some right now. Got a little late night gaming sesh going on. And hot chocolate would be so fine. It's really easy to adjust uh, your builds if they are not that great, um, which helps me a lot because as a newbie to the construction puzzle genre, I, I often need some help. Um, I feel like probably want one more ramp here to get that metal I'm not sure we got quite a oh that guy cannot go there all right yeah connect it all right I'm not sure if that's gonna be supported so I'm gonna anchor it right, right there as well um, and then because of that we'll just, we'll just get one more ramp let's guide ourselves straight to the stratosphere you know this this isn't this isn't a moon rocket launch we're not trying to get all fancy and risk our lives here. We're just trying to make sure that our ski boy makes it safely. All right, so now I switch to manual controls, and now I am the dude. Skiing all nice. Oh, God, I forgot to put ramps. Okay, that's not good. Well, it was a very clean, uh, clean ride, but I did not get the ramps up here, apparently. Uh, bad moves. There we go. All right, they, they smartly replaced them. Uh, the little, uh, what are these guys called? Support units. And now I got my ramps, and we'll get back to ski boy over here uh, you can as you saw probably speed up slow down pause do all sorts of things of that sort it also shows you the stress uh, meter and we can see over here hey this stuff is all supported in the green zone so we're feeling pretty good all right pause is over let's ski all right i'm gonna zoom out a little move over here uh, okay that ramp was a little steep for our guy bridge of the year over that pesky christmas tree oh my god we're so Okay, this just needs to maybe extend out a little bit more. Be a little less steep. Be a little more steep. I don't know. Do we need one more bridge? We still have got $170 to spend if need be. Oh, God, get it. Yes. Okay, I broke the structure, but that's okay. I got the metal. That's what I care about. That's what I want. On to the next one. All right, perfection. As long as I keep my guy alive, grab the metal and go. We are good. Back to the ski lift sort of things. This time it's all about wheels and planks. The foundations are established. And sometimes these are way easier, given that it's preset. And sometimes they are harder, given that you have to work within the confines of the game what they've established. So we clearly need to go pretty high. It's called roll with it. Um, we're going to get this ski lift pretty high. Clear over this little hill right here. This guy over the tree into the metal. And there we can see that these are going to go up. Um, I love that it highlights yellow, a nice little, uh, just small UI feature that helps you know, like, hey, are you doing the right thing? Um, that is not going to connect, but we can connect it there. I got 2,000 bucks, so a lot of moolah to spend. I'm not as concerned in this one. It's, it's, a, it's a bigger spend, uh, spending limit. Is that going to hold? I don't know. Maybe. I'm thinking it should be okay. We can't really build any other uh, foundations, so this is all going to have to work together here. I'm not sure what this one's for. I guess just to provide extra support. Um, let's see. Maybe it needs to build up. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's it. It needs to build up even higher. So I'm not going to be, whoops, I'm not going to be as efficient here just because uh, we got cash to spend. Let's see what this does, though. You can go over, you can go under, you can even wind it around if you want to be Kind of a psychopath and put your people through <laughs> a lot of unnecessary torture let's see what this does i don't know if the structures are gonna work we can see they're looking green right now a lot of stress there on the back side when our ski guys go over though it seems a-okay and that's a nice quick victory we put ourselves in perfect position to win that one it should be a triple metal blast off beautiful all three and we're moving on all right, this one is a safe spender, a thousand bucks, collect one metal, and this is a different kind of skill up. These guys need to stay on the ground, which means I'm going to need to build them ramps so that they are always on the ground. They don't ever want to leave the earth, which I understand. Air is scary, the sea is scary. We got to get them straight across and back to land. Ho, oh, right there. All right, that ramp looks pretty good. 
okay, we're gonna have to build this down now uh, and connect some triangles. I've learned that triangles are like construction man's best friend. They are the greatest way to safety um, and the greatest way to support your structures and make sure that everything is peachy. Okay, so we can take this up here and on, oh, that's not gonna work. We are gonna have to build uh, something over on that side. Founda oh, we got foundational points there. All right, so we can build this up a little bit. It's probably just gonna be a pretty simple structure here, um, but just something to run that rope over so it does not drag on the floor. So we go up, oh, that's, that's interesting. Eh. They're gonna leave the ground so bad. All right, so let's get rid of that. Dump that off there, hmm. Because these guys leave the floor and they freak out and they're done. So just to kind of show you what's gonna happen here, we'll run this through. Um, well, that did not go so well. The rope itself just died, so I can't really even show you. I just I need to get something up here um, to give it a little bit of, uh, of an edge. Okay, we can't put these planks down. We gotta, I only got two of these guys. Hmm. It's unfortunate because I can't... Let's see, can I just put a wheel right on here? I can. <laughs> hey guys. Can go under it. Oh, they're gonna cr get crushed. Hmm. Maybe a little... Delete the wheel. A little wooden structure here. Can it be anchored to the ground? It cannot. Do have these anchor points? Okay, good. So that can be built off. All right, so let's make a little itty bitty structure right here. Delete that guy. Ta-da! Um, that's supported there. Oh, it's too high. It's a little too high, but maybe if we move it down, they go up nicely. It's got to be like right there. Okay. <laughs> you got to be so freaking particular with how you build. Little wheel guy right there. Okay. I. Oh, I'm over budget. Urgh. Well, let's just see if this will work. See if we have the right idea. He grabs on. Holding steady. We're going to speed him up a little bit here. Nicely over the ramps. He gets that. He pulls up. That is perfect. It is perfect. But we got to gotta save a little bit of dough. Um, so maybe we can get away with... Let's see. Deleting this guy? Oh, wow. We'd have to delete a lot. Maybe it's honestly this one. How much does this cost? We're still so over budget. Hmm. Because he's got to stay on the ramp the whole darn way. And I don't know if these can support themselves. And that's just so much money. Where is the expense coming from here? I bet there might be a way to do it with just ramps. And without the need for the other uh, foundational pieces. Because those cost $250. And that's kind of where a lot of the expense comes in. These are pretty darn cheap. These are... That's fine. It's really these foundational little guys here that we'd like to do away with. Because they, uh... <laughs> they cost $250. Maybe we can do it without that first hill? Let's see. It's a, yeah, it's a little... It's a little, uh... A little sloppy. It's a little slacky. If that's the right term. But hey, it works. And that is a, a three-star, three-metal level. I guess we did not need to be as uh, as particular as I thought. All right, this one's called the mound, and it is a ski lift with a big mound in front of it. There's the goal, there's the end point. Is this an anchor? I'm not sure what that is. We got some logs this time. Goodness gracious, you don't get to see. Wait, do we have ropes? Maybe. Um, logs are the perfect way to start your day, and they are what's gonna help us get over this ridge. I think maybe we can put them here, let's see. 
Uh, logs go very high in the sky. They're very nice and they'll help us clear this tree and they'll help us also help us clear. Uh, we don't have ropes. That's odd. Normally we get ropes here. Um, so I'm not sure what we can support this with. I guess the logs are supposed to be supported then by planks. I guess the logs just help us get higher maybe. Um, we've got a decent sized budget here. So let's uh, anchor this here. Come on, little ski boys. We gotta get you to safety. And I gotta build out, uh, probably, honestly, another anchor so that we can connect these guys and give them the support structure. That, ooh, almost a beautiful build. All right, I don't know that this log is gonna stand. Will it stand on its own? The, the log, maybe? Put a wheel up here, put a wheel right here. Pull this guy over and under let's go under over under and through maybe it works maybe we're just ski geniuses this is a lot of stress on this log here we're not going to get the metal and that is going to break and our guy is going to um yeah he's I mean, he kind of did okay not not quite may have done it. This may be the perfect piece of machinery. Ugh, grab metal. Yes, don't put too much stress on the back end. Hallelujah. We cleared the mound and we are kicking butt. I am a master builder. Sign me up, Emmett. I'm ready to join the third movie. All right. That takes us perfectly into triple metal territory. And now we can move to the summer side of things. Oh, they're going to actually tutorial us uh, new stuff here, which I think is pretty impressive. What are they going to give us? Uh, gondola. Oh, gondolas. Okay, gondolas. That's that's a lot to, to take in. So let's go to summer uh, for a little bit here. We're going to move to the summer glade. We have Turbo Valley over here. It looks That looks pretty intense. The Alps, pretty fun. But what happens in the summer? It's motorbikes. This is going to be awesome. This was added to the game uh, for the full release, not part of the early access. Summer has arrived. It's time for mountain bike training. All right, we've got pedals, brakes, all sorts of things, uh, leaning and changing direction. What is this? I love that you get to not only build, but you get to control the guys as well. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's not going to end well. All right, a little bit of splats, but I see how it goes. we got to build a ramp, the world's greatest ramp. We were ramp experts when it came to... Uh, ski jumps, but how are we going to do with these jumps? I don't have a ton of money to spend, but I do need to support this ramp quite well. So we're going to connect for our way down. Uh, we may only need two pieces of ramp, but I'd rather err on the side of extra ramp. I'm a fan of ramps, so we're going to make our triangles. Like I said, triangles are a man's best friend. This one doesn't want to connect nicely. That's fine. We'll create a double okay what the heck happened to my bridge it was so bad i turned british all right let's see if we can just anchor that and maybe little home no what really now these guys are crazy all right how about now wait no 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 that doesn't look good delete it i need it to connect right there all right the bridge looks good okay now let's give a little follow to our our mountain bike man here. It's not even it's not even a motorcycle. It's a mountain bike. Oh golly goodness, didn't quite clear. Okay, that is. <sighs> this piece needs so much help. All right, so I got a better idea. Let's get rid of all of this. Delete it all. That's the beauty of these construction games. When you you screw up, you can just start completely from scratch. And I think that honestly, we might not even need that much ramp. We might be able to go simple ramp style and just you know build build our way right off this edge now obviously we do need to support it down to the ground and we need to connect these supports we need to anchor this into the terrain and triangle it up and all that jazz but this might be good enough let's see bike boy i trust you this is a beautiful ramp okay it's not so beautiful what gives all right this one here i guess needs a little bit more Love and support? How about now? You good? You good? We're babying you. Yeah! Okay, that was beautiful. But I need to build more. I've spent half my money getting this far.
Okay, so we almost cleared it. You saw there, left a little blood splatter down the edge of the hill. Um, but I think maybe if we make a little bit of a receiving ramp, we might be A-OK. -okay. And I should have known when it was $800, spending $400 with the tiny ramp wasn't going to cut it. But these mountain bike things are a little bit tricky. Maybe if we, uh, we make kind of a, a, a downward ramp to receive our guy, maybe that'll work out A-OK. -okay. Like, it's a... Uh, oh, God, I'm going to run out of money. I'm going to run out of money. Too much cash. Uh, maybe it'll be okay. Why is it not suck? There we go. Okay. I, I don't need it to really hold that much. I just need it to receive me. This first bridge is beautiful. Oh, that's not going to cut it. The whole thing collapsed and fell. Okay. So destroy that idea. He lands like right about here. So maybe it's just like... I need just something to, to catch him so that he can go uh, over the, the edge. That should be good, right? Let's just see. Let's see. Keep it at $700. Ride this guy through the metal into safety. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, it's like trials. The trial of taking this guy over the edge. Beautiful. Triple jam on the metal, and summer feels so good. The warmth is making me so cozy. The cold also made me cozy because I had hot cocoa, but now I've got the sun and I've got all sorts of new vehicles, including a motorbike. So you thought that we were just gonna pedal our way to victory? No siree. We're now going to make a stepped pyramid and zoom our way. So this is a big ramp. We have a motor this time. I feel like that's about as far as we can get away with uh, going here. All right, let's see. Let's just see how much. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This one has weakness, structural anxiety. Okay, how about now? You good? And you're still not good. All right, this is my bridge masterpiece. It's exactly one thousand dollars. I don't know if we're gonna be able to clear it. How fast or far this motorbike can go, but it is a very steep hill, and that is a very complex bridge. So let's put our a little dude through the paces. Are you ready for the bridge is holding? How much speed can we get? And can we clear the tree and clear the hill? We're not going to get over the... Oh, no. So close. We're not going to get over to the metal. But I think our bridge holds enough for us to win the level. And we may have to wait on perfection. We get a little bump there. But we nail the smooth landing and feel pretty darn good. He then dips into oblivion. But hey, I built him a beautiful bridge. I constructed puzzle perfection or nearly perfection, and I feel pretty good about that. Pride Rock is where we'll take things next, and now it is a motorbike lift. All sorts of crazy cool adventures in when ski lifts go wrong, and I guess when motorbikes and, and summer style goes wrong as well. We are trying our best to make it right, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to check out the game, definitely hit that Steam link or that Nintendo Switch link in the description down below. It's a ton of fun. I cannot wait to play it on Switch because perfecting this stuff and going for perfect scores will be even sweeter on the go. It seems like the perfect commute game, and I am thoroughly impressed with how much I enjoy this genre. A new thing to add to my gaming repertoire, and at 29, that is pretty freaking sweet. So thanks so much for watching a fantastic day until next time drink some hot chocolate stay cozy and we'll see you all later